Hi everybody and welcome to my third match this season in which we're playing against NA Smith 99. So um what have we got here? Um I guess acting troop is the village. And well paddock can be as well, right? Oh, that's kinda convenient once the acting troops run out, you can just well paddocks they're non-terminal then. Um and we've got different ways to gain stuff. Well we've got also got the necropolis. I guess we're gonna open inventor, right? It's nice with cemetery as well. And on the three what what should the the three be? Could just be a silver could be could be like estate trash hovel safe overgrown estate, but what does does that give us? For a potential crop rotation, that might be nice, but we're, it's going to be a while until we hit it. So let's just get a silver. Here we're going to cemetery trash everything. Don't need that necropolis, I don't think. Maybe we can hit five on our next hand. That would be great. Then we can we could get a kiln, for example, um, or a paddock. So he's just saving, it seems. Doesn't even want a silver. Um, oh, we're gonna cemetery here. Maybe um, his plan is to. I guess he did save the haunted mirror and he had a, a chance at gaining a ghost. If you draw like inventor and necropolis as we did. So this is R5. What should it be? Paddock. Paddock is draw, right? So uh, that's pretty good. <laughs> Kiln, of course, might also be pretty great with inventor. Right now we... Uh, I think we want a bit of draw first in the paddock and then we can get a kiln. Right now they're gonna collide and we won't have a way to play them anyway. Uh, we hit 5 again. Should this be... I guess now it should be a kiln. And on our next hand, we wanna we wanna um, gain an acting troop. which we can do by playing paddock. We can also can also inventor for an acting troop. Ah, uh, uh, I was thinking about then buying another one, but then we can save and we really want to save, I think. So we do it like this. Um, need to play the silver, of course. Um, um, like this. Hope we can find the acting troop. 
soon. We might hit 6 for crop rotation, which would also be pretty nice, right? We have the, the cemetery. Well, we did get rid of our overgrown estate, but I imagine we're gonna be gaining another cemetery somewhere along the line. Let's see if he's gonna get um, another inventor. Transmog. Oh yeah, you can transmog your cemeteries. That's useful. Okay, um, here, here we might just gain a cemetery, right? Trash four. We can buy an acting troop. That sounds pretty good. It's a little sad we can't um, put the horses into the shuffle. Yeah, it would be really nice to have the paddock in this hand so we could play it. Also put the new paddock into the shuffle, but well, I guess it's not, uh, it's only three cards in, in there, so no, it's four, four cards. Not the worst of shuffles. Actually, if we draw the inventor, we could think about gaining a ghost at the expense of playing our kiln, I guess. We're gonna see. Uh, he's gonna put his transmogrify down. Gains a cemetery. He's gonna gain a ghost here, I guess. Yep. <clears throat> this card's the acting troop. It's got a pretty slim deck now. Oh yeah, there there it is, the inventor. So yeah, that that's worth it, right? It's gotta be worth it. Just um, discarding the kiln. Is it? Is it worth it actually? Or should we wait another turn? Nah, I think it's worth it because then we can play a ghost next turn, and that should be pretty good. So we just play the paddock. Play the inventor. Buy another acting troop, I guess. Can't have enough of those. Well, that's that's not great. I mean, we have all these stop cards, so can't really complain about this, but mm, this is a really bad turn. Uh, another inventor now, and more acting troops, I guess. Okay, so this time we can kill the paddock and we just want to play. We can also kill the inventor instead, maybe. Maybe that's a, the better kill and target if we can manage to draw it, but we should be able to. Yeah, I don't know, just the, maybe this. This acting troop by when we got the ghost, we could have passed, but uh, that might just be results oriented talking there, right? 
What was on top of our deck? I don't know. Doesn't matter anyway. We're gonna play with what we've got here. Yeah, let's let's kill. Huh? Inventor or Paddock? I guess we're gonna ghost the Inventor here, right? Or what's what's on top actually? Is there a horse and an Inventor? I'm not quite sure. But let's kill the the Paddock. We we need some draw. We're not drawing our deck, and we should be. And here just more inventors and another paddock or a kiln. Uh, I mean, these kilns could just be inventors, really, right? We can save for. We can save and buy an inventor. Let's do that. So now piles are starting to run. Um, Guess we should try to win next turn if we can. Other otherwise the timing is gonna be really awkward with him. Um with him having the the ghost coming up for his turn twelve before um before our ghost our next ghost is gonna be turn thirteen. Yeah so should uh we should start to to have an eye on his gains what he can do there. Uh, how many inventors does he have? Well, we can just see how many we've got, and he's got the rest. The thing is, we won't be drawing here everything, right? These are our only two horses. Aren't they? Yeah, right, he's gained two, returned one. So he's got one. We've got two horses. So we can't even gain and play here. Um, we're gonna hit six, right? Well, maybe. If our other paddock doesn't bottom deck. Um, because I've got a feeling that crop rotation is going to be helpful. He might be running into villager problems actually, and we've got five more, well, without having played this turn. And he's got two transmogs on the mat, that's pretty scary.
Uh, let's check how many inventors each of us has. So we've got four to his two. Okay. Hmm. Oh, he's play. Oh. Okay, so he's got a lot of draw, and he's got these transmogs, which is concerning because he can do gain and play stuff. So, well, let's see. We would need we would need to gain this stuff. That's ten gains. We can we can kill an inventor. So we need nine gains. We've got this double inventor play. We've got three more potentially. And a buy. No, that's too short, right? To gain short. Hmm. So what should we gain here? Yeah, this is a really kind of crappy spot for us, right? Uh, he set himself up pretty nicely with all these horses and the transmogs. Don't have enough deck control. So what's it going to be? Well, actually, this is this inventory is doubled, right? And we have got three more coming up, so that's five games. Kiln, six. No, it's only... Um, what should this be? It probably can't be another inventor, right? So what else? Silver, that's like really sad. I mean, how do we proceed? We've got all these inventors, but we don't have draw. He's got two inventors, two transmogs. What can he do? He can for sure empty inventors. He might even be able to transmog stuff into inventors so to get even more gains. Oh, man. Tough stuff, tough stuff. Just the silver. Silver is like so sad. I mean. Uh, let's get an inventor instead and a kiln here. Uh. 
Um, and these, what are these gonna be? Just duchies. Kilne Paddock. Duchy Duchy Province by Province Safe. Uh, guess that's gonna be it. Not really inspiring, but what can we do? One could be a merchant guild. Nah. Also, are we gonna run out out of actions? So well, we can't worry about that now, can we? Oh, actually, let's think. Let's think. If we get two provinces, we're at sixteen. He's got eight. Can he then empty and outscore us? Because this could be other 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 stuff, right? Stuff that actually does something for us. Could be like merchant guild, merchant guild, two provinces. Are we then gonna lose? Guess we'll find out. Uh, I mean, if he empties cemeteries, if he piles on cemeteries, that's six points. Really? Gaining duchies isn't gonna help us win, right? He can just then wait another turn, so. I don't know. Can't buy a crop rotation, unfortunately. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know about this line. Just nothing seemed good, really. Maybe I'm. Um, Overestimating what he can do, but it seems to me like the two transmogs down and all this draw he's got, he can do a lot. I guess now's the time to find out. And the hand we're looking at isn't really great either. But uh, we've only got four horses, right? So it's to be expected. Yeah, it feels like we went into too many of these guys, the inventors, too early before getting our deck under control with paddocks. Also, we only have four villagers left right now, which is gonna be another issue. Not if two more piles run, I guess, then the paddocks can be. Ooh, okay. Didn't draw a horse, wow. What can we do here? We got a score, right? That was surprising. Um. How much can we score? Hmm. 
We would also like to keep some of these villagers. Um, like inventor for a state. We don't wanna lower cemeteries, really. Paddock Merchant Guild, then we can save the Merchant Guild by a duchy. I don't know. Oh. Might have as well bought a copper with that, right? Well, I guess. Don't know if the, the copper is gonna help us or not. Let's see if it's got a finish here. If he doesn't, I'm not quite sure how much we can do. Ah, but the non-terminal paradox, maybe we can do something. Just maybe. Oh, is it just gonna empty provinces? Well, that's a line I didn't expect, but I guess he's calculated it. He's got enough inventors, so he can inventor for two more. So he needs to play. Nicely done, really nice. Really nice finish. Alright. Okay. Yeah, he he just played this this endgame really well. Uh, set it up so we didn't really have good chances. Um, well, let's see what we can do in this one. <clears throat> so this is Cathedral Mountebank, I guess, and I guess we want to keep the necropolis, right? It's the only village. Do we want um, any other five? No, right? Still want the mounted bank. Okay. 
maybe he's got the four three we would be happy about that because that seems like the the inferior <clears throat> opening to me oh well the thing is we're gonna trigger a shuffle right so well I mean we're gonna do it anyway but best would be to have like the hovel in our next hand instead of the the overgrown estate so we could shuffle our five cost right in oh he's got well <laughs> this is um a variant on the four three really with the baker token <clears throat> is he gonna go for the mount a bank yep yeah it's still worth it still worth it right well we don't even need to use our coffer oh, we've seen this hand before this is just gonna be a wishing well, I guess. Yeah, just a wishing well. We're gonna get um, some amount of those. Then add a leprechaun later. Kind of tempted by talisman, but it's probably a bad idea, right? We're gonna be wanting to buy lots of fives, and then we can't use the talisman. We're gonna be buying dens of sin, I guess. They will also help activate the leprechaun. He goes with the treasurer. That's interesting. Didn't expect that. No, I don't. Don't think we want one. Just want to then play the mountebank as often as possible. Of course, the treasurer might also help with that, right? Because it's getting rid of your coffers. You could also use an ambassador to do that. Like maybe one of these fives should be a band of misfits, right? And that band can then be wishing well, it can be ambassador, it can be leprechaun, so uh pretty flexible really. If there's curse on top, you don't want it. So really the only thing we want to wish for is copper. And we got it. Nice. Another den. And now we can block. So that's really good for us. Uh, guess we're not turning on the auto block. I mean, it's going to be a long time until it could start to hurt us, but who knows. Like, we discard and Cathedral gets us. So he chose to play Treasurer over Mountebank there. Why is a Baker? Okay. We're going to be trashing Copper over Curse. Now we're gonna be buying a band of misfits. I think it could be really cool. Um, and we hit him three times already with our mountebank, so that's also really good. So I have a feeling 
this has been going pretty well for us so far, this game. Just from the draws and everything. This turn could be a little sad because our good stuff is bottom deck, but we might just draw something nice with this den of sin. Yep. <laughs> so I guess the band's gonna have to be a wishing well. That's alright. So what's down there? Um, uh, Necropolis, Copper, Den of Sin. Um, we we wanna get the Den of Sin, right? Uh, so I guess we wish for Copper or Necropolis. If we get it, we're guaranteed to hit it. Switch for the Copper. Oh, nice, we find it. Really nice. Play this guy. And just more dense, I think. Um, let's see, with two dense in play, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh. Well, we need one more then to activate the lab, but for now the plan is to play band as, as something else anyway, right? Let's just get it then now. We wanna draw our good stuff. And looking at this hand, this seems to have been a good choice. Didn't find his his terminals. We can hit him with the ambassador here. Um, we're gonna be receiving fuel anyway, right, from his mountebank place, so we don't have to worry about um, over thinning with the cathedral, I don't think. At some point, we're gonna be Switching to playing a wine merchant, I guess once the curse is run, so we got a so we've got a second buy. We're just gonna be investing into lots of dens and trying to activate Leprechaun all the time. It's gonna be our plan. So, I guess we're trashing curse here. We'll hit him with the ambassador. Yeah, we're one short, unfortunately, but oh, we need another turn after this, and then we can activate the lab. So should we Ambassador here? 
I think we should, right? Let's do it. Uh, um, I think that then should have been something else, really. Like another band of misfits or a baker, probably. Yeah. Um, well, that wasn't exactly ideal, but it's fine. Because we're just overdrawing massively. But it's fine. Well, fine. We can buy a wishing well. We can ambassador without returning. And next turn we can activate the leprechaun. Um, we're actually hoping to get mounted banked at this point to get some fuel. I mean, we've got stuff to trash, right? We've got the one copper left and we're going to be activating Leprechaun and then we can get rid of a wishing well or something, so it's no big deal. No big deal, really. We're going to be gaining golds. And yeah, at some point we want to add this wine merchant. I mean, we can also choose to play the mountain bank and the wine merchant and not the lab. But I don't know if I like that. It's just provincing, all right. Taking labyrinth points as well. Okay, so. so unfortunately, unfortunately, we can't gain and play with the lab. He's blocking all the time now, but he's got three curses. Well, two curses in his deck, so not too unlikely. Should we buy like a copper or an estate just to have fuel? Almost think we should. Let's get an. Let's get a copper. We're overdrawing massively anyway, right? And that way we don't have to sacrifice a wishing well. So if we turn this wish, okay, this had to pass this turn, so it's a really good sign for us. If we turn the wish into a wishing well, we can We still can't gain and play with lab, can we? So might as well turn it into something else. I guess you can just turn it I guess we just turn it into a band of misfits for now. Or a baker. Yeah, let's get a baker, alright. Get some get some tokens. We wanna be playing the mountain bank here. We're not gonna be using the wine merchant buy, are we? Um so we 
can stack up some coffers. Should this be a band of misfits? We're still overdrawing, right? We didn't wish for anything with the, these wishing wells, so let's get a baker. Now we're gonna have to sacrifice something. Could be a gold, honestly. We wanna be drawing our deck. Yeah, let's trash this gold. We're gonna be gaining one back anyway, right? Or maybe now it's time to trash the mountain bank. Yeah, I think so. And we start playing wine merchant instead. Okay, um what's down there? Baker Baker and Den of Sin. So it doesn't really matter what we wish for. Or did it matter? <laughs> I don't know. We've got well one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we can we can do this just fine. Um this 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 guy what's on top a wish no a gold so just wish for baker wish for wine merchant and then we green This is 13, could be just province, wishing well, stacking up coffers, could also be, oh, he's giving up, yeah, I mean, uh, justify, we had the, um, that resign, it's justified, we had the much better deck control and it was unlikely. Um, well, I'm not sure how. If he had a path to victory, really. So, yeah, justified resign. Next game. Um, there's no village, right? Should this be like inventor expedition or baron expedition? We certainly wanna hit five for a sanctuary. Is it's like a lone inventor gonna be gonna be good even if we don't have actions? Or maybe we go messenger silver and buy expedition, and then we should really be hitting five. Is messenger the terminal we want to play with? So many questions. Maybe this place is the terminal we want to play with, but we can still add that. Yeah, whatever. Let's open Messenger, I think. Messenger for Silver. And then we Expedition. I mean, 
thinking maybe he's got the three hand and now he just expeditions, but and that's like really likely to hit five, right? But that's fine with me. Just expeditions. We also do. And next hand we hit five again, so that's nice. Can go double sanctuary. Which he also does. So we're pretty Oh, let's see what he's gonna do with the five, but we're pretty even so far. We've got a messenger. Um, or should we double expedition? What could that potentially give us? A sanctuary play. And maybe we hit eight to... To go like Sanctuary Expedition again. If you just buy a second Sanctuary. Uh, let's go Double Expedition. This might be wrong. Uh, fortunately, these didn't bottom deck, else that would have really sucked. Yeah, I can see that being wrong. But. We were lucky and it worked out. Now we go Sanctuary Expedition. Oh, we see two expeditions. Really, really nice. We're gonna double Expedition as well. I mean, what's he got down there? Two coppers, estate, and sanctuary. Yeah, sounds tempting to double expedition. Uh, to me, at least. You know what? The this place harem is actually pretty nice, right? Because you can displace them into provinces and they also score. Huh. Yeah, he goes with the double expedition. Which we will be doing as well. How many stop cards have we left? Four plus four plus five. That's nine. So with the double expedition, we should pretty likely to see everything. Maybe. We're not gonna see the second sanctuary, but if we don't, that's fine as well. I think here we are going to add the displace, and the messenger is gonna have. It's gonna. gonna end his service to us. 
hang out in exile from here on. He goes for the gold with the wedding. Alright. We keep this. So, could be this place expedition pearl diver. I think we do want an expedition again. So we see the displays with the messenger. Oh. Maybe, maybe we do. Doesn't look like it right now. Yeah, I think we're gonna go for this harem thing. Displacing harems into provinces. Sounds pretty good. He adds the displace as well. Oh, there's, there's the displace. Nice. So we exile this guy. He did well for us. Harem and the expedition. Okay, so we are guaranteed to see the harem here. And we can exile some more coppers. Maybe we just exile one copper. Maybe we don't. So we can just um, gain, we can buy harem again. Not sure. Well, actually, we can't exile any coppers if we want to buy harem, right? So let's not do it. Uh, I mean, our next turn, how's on an, our next turn gonna look, what's it gonna look like? We exile copper, copper here, we displace province into harem. We can expedition again, is that too slow? Well, yeah, maybe we want a wedding actually here. We don't need the expedition, right? Let's wedding instead. <laughs> and then we draw this hand. Oh god. Sad. All right, take that. Um, yeah, let's not exile the province now, right? Uh, we would have preferred. Ah, uh, we would have preferred to. Displace it. We can still do it. Should we still do it? What's down there? Silver, displace. So if we displace the gold, we hit four. We can wedding again. Yeah, that's fine, right? We get the gold back right away. So let's exile the province.
I mean, we then can't exile any coppers here. But it's gonna be worth it, right? We displace gold into province bedding and hope to this time pair the province with the displace so we can can get the harem back. I mean, maybe we don't have to get it back. Um, I mean. It's also fine as like a one-time displaced target that's just worth a bit more. Yeah, you can stay at the bottom. Well, I mean, it doesn't matter, right? We're gonna draw our deck anyway. Yeah, this this was a <clears throat> this last turn was a nice turn. Yeah, who knows? Maybe these two VP from the harem, they could be the um the thing that wins us the game in the end. They're pretty even in every aspect otherwise, right? We've got uh, almost exactly the same stuff exiled, at least the same junk cards exiled. We've got two VP from Wedding, which means we both have two golds, right? Yep. Yeah, so we're pretty much even in every regard. We've got the 2BP from Harem. Um, he's a bit. He's like his second player, um, but ahead on province gaining, but that doesn't really matter at this point, I think. Yep, we're gonna take that to the top. Uh, Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we want to now displace the province into another harem, get it back, and um, expedition. Can he double? Maybe. Maybe he can actually double, right, with the... Yeah, with the expedition. That would be bad for us. Doubling would be pretty bad for us. But maybe we can then also double, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so should be fine. Should this be harem or gold? We don't have a gold in exile. We have, what do we have? We have two golds, two coppers, silver. I mean, down there is gold, silver, pearl, death a sanctuary. Um, How many stop cards is that? With the displays, it's five, six. So one expedition means we. Well, 
Maybe it should just be harem, but not discarding from exile, right? Hmm. Yeah, we don't need the other harem, do we? Now we're threatening double, so if he doubles we can... I think we're pretty much guaranteed to also double, right? Seeing the starting hand. What, he, what if he goes like province, duchy, or province, harem, maybe um, he should do something like that now. In which case we also shouldn't double. But we should then also go for some mixture of harems and duchies. And I don't think we actually want really want these harems back in our deck. We always want this double threat. Now we gotta keep track of his deck carefully to know um, how much he can do. He's got a copper, a silver, three golds, sanctuary, and this place. Yeah, that's that's his hand, right? Copper, silver, three gold, sanctuary, displays. Province, harem, expedition. Yeah, that sounds pretty reasonable. Huh. So what, uh, I mean, he guarantees that he can double here, right? We can keep that on the bottom. What if he doubles? He will be at 37. We want to set it up so we can then catch him by gaining a province and a duchy or something. That's 9 points. So we're at 30 from that. Um, so we should score 8 points here. Mm, that's a lot actually. But maybe we can province Dachi Dachi next turn.
Not a V double here. You could double plus a state. That is we're at 35. He would need 10. Can he get 10? That's or can he beat 10 rather? That's province, province, duchy. Can he go province double duchy? He did exile a gold last turn, bought a harem. He had nine left, and that's all he's got, right? We we did determine he has silver, three golds, copper. One gold is gone. He added a harem. To gain a province, he will need to displace the harem, so he will be left with nine. Uh, which could be duchy double estate to beat us. Yeah, that's that's just too bad. He can beat us by one VP exactly. If you go double province, now how many stop cards does he have to be? Go for it anyway. He has uh, silver, two golds, copper. It's five. Harem six. This place is seven. Province eight. So it's not guaranteed he gets everything. Actually, he's under drawing by one, right? Now, if that one card is a Pearl Diver, or, um, the thing is, is that our best option? Just double and hope he doesn't get it. What else can we do? We can displace silver into duchy. Then we're left with, uh, we're left with, um, we're left with 10. So that could be triple duchy. And then what? Then we're at 30. If he then doubles, he said 37, and then we need province duchy again, but without expeditioning, and that's gonna be hard. Yeah, I think we just go for it. Just province, double province estate. Wait a second. Miscounted, right? Oh, damn it. It's 34, so he only needs province duchy. Yeah. Maybe he's gonna let us change these. 34 is not enough. <laughs> so, what else? Um, What else do we do? Yeah, 34 is just gonna be losing. Or at the at the very best, he's gonna have a tie. We could displace harem into duchy, 
by Harem Expedition. Get the stuff back. While also exiling a, a copper. Yeah, let's do that. That's all right. So we do this. Do that. Yeah, let's discard this stuff. We would like some money in our deck now, I think. Because we might, might need it to buy stuff. I don't know, this seems this seemed like a really bad spot again. He, he keeps putting us in these tough spots, so um, yeah, he's playing these really nicely. Just there wasn't didn't seem to be any good line for us. And this is what we came up with. I mean, maybe he's got his displaced bottom deck and can't double and we're fine. The harems are worth a province now for us. He's also got one, I mean. Don't know about discarding them there, but... Yeah, I don't know. This is too complicated. <laughs> uh, this is too complicated stuff. These endgames. I mean, it's rather unspectacular board apart from that, but just dancing around with expeditions and uh, these places, it's really getting to me. <sighs> also, think like I spent like an eternity on that last decision. So maybe I should uh maybe I should speed up a bit. Ah, he's also looking for a good line now. I mean, at least that means he. It's not trivial for him. Let's say he doubles here. Then we need 11. So we need province and two duchies. Ah, that seems pretty tough actually. What would we need to draw like our two golds? Then we can do it. Or is gold and harem enough? That's also enough, right? Yeah, so it's doable. It's actually doable. Uh, 
got the make the make resign. I can I'm gonna bet that one popped up for him on our turn as well. Yeah. Thought like an eternity there. Shouldn't think so much. Just play. Oh well. I mean, the the thing is, you can with this ex these expedition plays and our slim decks, you can um you can look at the what 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 the, they could do. Um, and a lot of detail, I guess, uh, and that's why you can spend so much time thinking through all the stuff there, which of course doesn't mean you have to do it. But it can be tempting. So, oh. he's did I say he's under drawing by one? That's not true, right? He's he's drawing exactly. Well, uh, if the if the the cantrips aren't bottom decked, of course, but it doesn't necessarily need them. Like the pearl, the pearl diver does nothing anyway, or very close to nothing. The sanctuary does stuff, and you might also wanna. Displace it, but you can also only displace it into duchy or harem, and you probably want to displace into a province here. Oh, let's see what he comes up with here. Uh, <laughs> kind of hope he just doubles and goes for it, and, and then we either get it or not. Oh, don't want to think through all of the stuff again. Want to play the next board? This is too much. Too much calculations and counting. So he's drawing exactly. So he can double if he wants to. And he does. Alright, okay, so we know where we are at. We need to draw gold. Oh, 
two golds. Yeah, we take that. Um, well, this doesn't change anything, does it? We need. Oh, well, actually, we're guaranteed, right? To get there. Oh, nice. So, province. Province to duchies. We've got it, right? Yep. Nice. Oh, oh man. Lagging. Okay. I mean, he also took his time, but that might have just been because we took so much time as well. So, seems like we found the, the good line in the end, right? His best option was to double there and we were guaranteed to beat that. Maybe we burned. We could have bottom decked our displays, right? Or the gold. So we weren't actually guaranteed to get it. Anyway, this is the next one. And we're really kind of short on villages today, aren't we? So what do we do here? Is this some mad hermit stuff? You can't even print anything to to gain actions. Uh, to get actions, I mean, you don't gain them. Uh, you know what I mean. To get the village effect. Uh, guess we're just gonna double hermit and then bonfire. Oh, he's got the five too. I don't know um, if that's actually better than four three here. Can you do anything with? Like anything stupid with vineyards? No, you can't, right? Like, I mean, you could gain lots of stonemasons and hermits and exile them and then try to score with vineyards. Is it gonna work though? Well, uh, actually, Citadel is a way to gain, a way to have a village effect, right? Hmm. We're gonna go double hermit, hope to bonfire while playing them, which might not be happening. Um. I mean, but you're gonna have a deck that's just doing nothing. Let's just play money. Um, guess we bonfire here. Like, you could do this sanctuary stonemason hermit thing. But it's just gonna be spinning. 
you can also just should this be another hermit I think so you can just play like yeah, we just play like a, a money deck that buys like a province every turn and puts it away with sanctuary and we don't have any ambitions this game. Maybe that's wrong. You could be like stonemasoning for sanctuaries. So these should be silvers, right? Silver hermit or silver silver. We're gonna be gaining two madmen, and what are we going to be doing with them? We're gonna wanna want to keep them, right? <laughs> now we have these guys, but we don't want to use them. Also, we can buy a sanctuary now, but for for what? Exiling a copper. And this this stuff is too complicated. I don't know. I don't know. Like, let's say we hit 8, we buy citadel, we start stonemasoning sanctuaries, we add in a scholar for draw. Is that actually gonna work? We also need the potion. We can just play a slim deck that buys a province a turn and it's not gonna have trouble emptying provinces. If you get 10 stone masons and 9 sanctuaries, your vineyards are also worth a lot. Let's get an idol here. We don't need the sanctuary right now. Just don't know what we should do. I mean... We're not gonna be fast enough doing this stuff right because stone masoning for sanctuaries it doesn't actually do anything for you in the long run it's points for vineyards but it doesn't mean your deck can do more on the next turn so I just don't think it's gonna work he gets the citadel We're gonna keep that madman. Oh, nice. Do we want it? Do we want the gold? We could then buy a hermit just to gain us silvers. Yeah, why not?
or we, yeah, let's 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 take this guy. Now we play one of the madmen, and we buy Citadel still, I guess. Doubling Hermit could be nice. We really want a sanctuary because once we start greening, we want them. Hmm. Cans on Isle. All right. Got a silver, I guess. <laughs> Another one. We actually want Citadel. We could just stone mason for two sanctuaries here and start greening. Like, let's do it. So he spent all his madman. Uh, well, actually, this doesn't do anything, right? Because he's only got this one copper left. So we've gotten actually pretty nice boons. The the gold was pretty good, and also the silver boon. So the idol has been nice to us. Now we're just gonna green. I don't believe in the vineyard thing. Maybe maybe he's gonna go for it and prove us wrong, but if he's gonna do it, so be it. We have all this this treasure in our deck now. That doesn't that doesn't play well with with the other thing. The other thing is even as a deck. Uh. Ah, he goes for the province, okay. Nothing to exile here. Just a silver. Ah, this one wasn't as nice, but, oh, it's also fine. Actually, the stonemason could be useful in that we can turn. Oh, forest is nice, but probably he just wants to buy province anyway. Like, the stonemason can let us turn gold into duchies or into duchy idol or something. Yeah, just provinces. Like here. We could just turn the gold into two, two duchies. That might be like or like duchy idol. Nah, don't need a second idol. That might be like the the best shot we have at this at doing this. Is it gonna be worth it? Um, yeah, whatever. Let's just get the green. We can sanctuary the stuff, so it's probably fine. Um, sure, let's get a silver.
think this was fine. But maybe these duchies now make it so we don't hit 8 and it's just bad. We're gonna find out. He didn't hit 8 either, so that's good. Guess we exile the stonemason now. We don't have any food for it anymore. Oh, this is a really bad hand. Oh, I guess that's <laughs> that's what happens if you turn. Oh, he's got the wind. Oh, the wind tax. Yeah, that, that's that's what happens uh, when you turn your gold, your nice gold, into two duchies. What did we expect? Yeah, he's got a nice uh, stable deck now. Let's exile this hermit. Uh, Sun's gift would have been. Really good here. Maybe he's just gonna go for it. And if he does, we lose because we're not hitting eight here. He doesn't have to, right? He can duchy, then we duchy, and then he duchies, and he's in a great spot. Yeah, so I, I think it's looking pretty bad for us. Yeah, I don't know about the stone mason play, but maybe it was fine anyway. Yeah, I don't think he needs to. I don't think he should buy province here. He should just duchy. Because he can do it again. He's got a really nice deck. Just one green card every turn. Can even afford to add two, but that risks Dudding, but he can sanctuary as long as he draws the sanctuary uh, at the top of his shuffle. He can sanctuary two cards. No, I dislike that. But maybe he tracked our deck and knows we can't hit eight here. But oh, well, let's see what our next hand is. We could have, we could have. So I think that was the right play. I mean, he won anyway, right? But. No need to take the risk for him. He can just dance a bit on duchies with us and with his superior deck control. He can put us in a bad spot. Oh, anyway, that was a quick one for a change. What's this? Kiln capitalism. Oh. Got Horn of Plenty, Way of the Pig. Um, let's 
So we wanna do horn of plenty kinda, right? Actually it's also nice with kiln. How do we open? It's not so clear. Huh. I wonder about island. It really mm. well shanty town. Way of the pig is pretty nice for shanty town actually. I think at least because the the bad cases aren't as bad anymore. And could be lackeys actually. Lackeys also nice. It just gives you villagers and you can use them with way of the pig, so you don't have the problem where you flood your deck with lackeys. Yeah, let's get lackeys. Let's get lackeys. We can kill them later. Oh, he's got a 5 2. Alright. So, kiln or haunted woods. Haunted woods, yeah, that's nice. Um, which we are going to buy too. Yep. Or kiln. No, no. There won't be anything good to kiln in there, so haunted woods. It is. Let's hope he doesn't play as Hauntable. Oh, he does. <laughs> he does. Well, we don't have to buy anything, but it's a little sad for us. Well, this is fine. Just draw on. Didn't find our haunted woods. We can't buy anything, unfortunately. Uh, I guess we get an island. It would be like really nice to get rid of these estates. So we can buy stuff because the this haunted wood stuff is gonna be so annoying. Also, there's no good way to gain island. Ah, <sighs> could also be lackeys. Nope. Let's buy this island. We're probably gonna regret it. Hopefully he doesn't. Oh, he does find it. If we hit five, we might as well buy capitalism. Ah, uh, like all right. Do we use the villager, or do we just? What's in there for Copper's Island? Would like to keep the villager. Oh, we didn't find that. I don't want to top deck this stuff, is the thing. I really don't want to.
would make us start next turn. That's by capitalism. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. So, on the next Haunted Woods we might be... We might be able to justify buying stuff through the attack. Because we will only have two estates left. Oh, there's there's his three estates which didn't have to top deck here. That hurts us. Definitely need to get a second Haunted Woods. And we might get a kiln at some point. Now that we have capitalism, it's kind of alright with the Horn of Plenty as well. But we don't even have Horn, Horn of Plenty yet. Guess we can gain the kiln from our first horn or something. But first we need to get this Haunted Woods thing going. We need to be attacking him every turn as he is attacking us every turn. Uh, I wonder... I wonder if we should have gone for a trader here. It's like, Trader isn't a great card, right? But at least you can go get, you can get over estates and having six silvers also isn't great, but having to top deck your stuff every, every turn is really bad. He's not attacking us, nice. Um. We don't even wanna trigger, do we? Um, what's in the discard? Two coppers and a lackeys. I guess if we trigger, we can top deck copper lackeys. Well, we do this, and we can play this and try to top deck lackeys, which we don't, but we can just play it now. Let's get the second Haunted Woods, I think. We need to find one next turn. And there it is. Okay. Guess we pick one of these, hope to draw a copper to buy a lackeys. No, oh, we find the estate. That's not what we wanted. Not at all. Guess we play on anyway. Would really like to buy a lackeys. 
and we top deck these two, it's fine. <clears throat> Now we, now we want to get a horn of plenty. So how's it looking right now? He's got one more lackeys, two more villagers. He's got the horn already. We have one estate set aside and that's not nothing. And also, he hasn't managed to play his Horn of Plenty to, to gain a 5 cost so far, and that's really great for us. Here we are gonna do it like this. I can just top deck the lackeys. Right? Eh, maybe we just draw, draw on. Yeah, we just draw through. There's one lackey to take on there. Now we get the horn. Okay, so we've been, we've been drawing deck here. Which he has not managed to do so far. Maybe that's a good sign. But I believe he should be able to do it now with all these lackeys and the villagers. So, should we get a kill now? I believe, I believe we should. I mean, we need to make sure we're, we keep drawing. Yeah, he's drawn deck now. Alright. He's got six lackeys. Seven. It's really going for these lackeys, even horning. Horn of plentying for them. I guess he just wants all this draw, and I believe he's right in that. Can't have enough draw with these on this horn board. Really wonder if we. Nah, I don't know. If you could open like Shanty Island here and try to get your green out of the way first. But it's probably a bad idea, right? It probably is. Oh, island, okay. So he wants that as well. Need to play this for draw. Okay. Um, I guess another shanty town. And should it be a kiln or another haunted woods first? Let's get another haunted woods. We really need that draw. I oh, failed to draw here. Good news.
but he did manage to island in a state. Um, I guess we pick these red and play the shanty town for draw afterwards. Ooh, that could also have been pretty sad for us, but it kind of worked. So let's get a kill now and try to gain and play a Haunted Woods next turn. Maybe that's unrealistic. But I feel with the second Haunted Woods it might be possible. That's a lot of pig lackeys. I mean, villagers are definitely valuable, right? Because we have no way to get them back. So let's see what he horns for. Another horn. I say haunted woods, all right. Um. How much draw is down there? Some amount. Let's pick this guy first. This guy. Ah. Well, so much for killing. The stuff, the the haunted woods. Guess we're gonna do it like this. We're gonna kill the horn of plenty instead. We're gonna try to just draw the copper. Well, it doesn't matter, right? We're haunted woods attacked anyway. You know what's funny? You can still... Huh. You can gain and play stuff like this. But then you don't get the kill um, effect. But we're gonna do it because it's fun. Look at this. Nice. Uh, but we're gonna be in trouble next turn, right? No actions. Maybe we shouldn't buy anything here. Or maybe uh, we can't can't justify an island now, can we? We're not gonna be drawing enough. Don't buy anything.
That was a cute little kiln trick. I mean, it did enable us the horn of plenty gain and play, so it's not too bad. Piles are getting low. He has two horns to R3. Um, could become more. Could become more horns on his side. Yep. Two more. All right. Well, that's actually a rather good draw here for us. Uh, let's pick these. Really good draw for us. The thing is, is he gonna be able to finish? Yeah, probably right. He has these six villagers sitting around. He can just play his stuff. Is there a way for us to win? We have three horns. We can kill one. That's four gains. Five with the buy. Uh, we can't draw every everything, can we? It's not possible. So we probably can't win. Which means we should play these haunted woods and try to put us in a favorable position. Huh. Guess we can like kill the horn for a duchy. <sighs> Gain a horn. Gain a duchy, try to win next turn. Or maybe it should be two islands instead because we can pick them. Yeah, let's go with the two islands. Can he? Empty islands and horns. Then, huh, maybe. But if he can do that, he can probably also just empty like haunted woods horns and outscore us. So let's just do it. We're pretty. In a pretty bad spot anyway, I think. Don't see him not drawing and ending this. At least we had, we had fun with kill. <laughs> Hmm. 
Yeah. Would be. I would be surprised if he doesn't have a win here. Well, who knows? But with six villagers and all, he's picking all the lackeys. And he's still got three more, so he can draw to the end. But he can't gain and play anyway, right? He doesn't have a kill. Maybe he can't end. And what does he do then? Yeah, four, four horns, one by. That's enough to empty Haunted Woods and horns, but not enough to empty horns and islands, which we did not calculate, <laughs> but we just got lucky, fortunately. That he can't empty the stuff. Hmm. Yeah, right. What does what does he do? He also can't gain provinces with the horns. Is he playing for... So what does he play for here? A dot? We, don't, we have two Haunted Woods done. Yeah, so actually his position wasn't as good as we thought it was. Still we had to do this double island thing, I think. Don't know if we had to, but... It seems to have been a fine option. Let's say that. We have three horns. So if we draw enough, we can gain and play one horn. So we could empty horns and haunted woods. So he has to score some. He will have to top deck two estates here. He has two coppers on top. He's going for Leprechaun. Well, he wants uniques, right? That's what the Leprechaun is there for. And the Slay of the Pig, um, it's not hard to play it. Well, but if he doesn't score, we can win if we manage to draw through, which is not guaranteed, I don't think. Somehow we managed to arrive in these uh, screwed up game states where we don't know what to do. How about a clean sweep? Or a change. Oh, so he didn't score. 
which means we need to draw through. Do we pick this? No, we use the villager now. We try to play this for draw. We just need to draw through, then we win. Okay, we pick this. Um, this. And this. 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 Yeah, that's a win. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Wow. Did not expect to win this one. Oh, we can even empty islands, right? He did gain an island. Not that it matters. Interesting, interesting game. Totally misjudged the end game, but somehow still seemed like we did the right thing. And the kill and trick won us the game. That's nice. Oh god. Okay, so this is... This is screwed up. This is stockpile, villa, library, black market. So when are we gonna finish? Like turn 7 or something? Probably. Um... We can even open library black market by villa, buying villa and butterflying it. Is that good? He is going for it. So we're gonna copy it. Can't be that bad. Question is do we want black market or raise? Uh, there's haunted woods. Which kind of kills the thing, right? Yeah, we need to get haunted woods down, and then you can't do the the broken stuff, villa stockpile stuff. Yeah, I guess race. We need to get rid of the estates. Ooh, well, it's fine. It's fine. As long as we find the, the library, it's fine. We do need to kill this race to buy a villa. Yeah, we need to get the haunted woods down, then you can't do the, the broken gain and play. Fortunately, unfortunately, we can't do it just now with this villa. It's fine, we just find our rays. Oh, we can do it now. Oh, actually, let's not play the rays now, but do it like this. And we get the haunted woods down. And that's going to hurt him a lot now. Uh, 
actually maybe you can still do the broken stuff just using way of the butterfly right to gain the villas uh, there, but it's harder definitely harder so we're not gonna finish turn seven I suppose um I would like to get the haunted woods down again. Can we do it? I don't think we can here, unfortunately. This would be the turn to do it because he's got his villas coming up, I think. Uh, his libraries, I mean. Um, so. We can find the villa, but um, not enough money. Guess we're just gonna buy Haunted Woods Race in that case. You know what? We should pop this race, I think, because our next turn is likely going to be a dud otherwise. This way we can at least draw this bad stuff. Oh, wait, wait, wait a minute, we can. This way we can get the Haunted Woods. Man, this is too much. <laughs> it's game six, give us something uh, simple. Please. Alright. Another villa or something else. Could gain another haunted woods. Could also just be another race. Yeah, let's get another race, I suppose. I wanna get rid of these estates. It should have been our library. Well, now we can do we can't do the tricks anymore. We can still play black market and the library afterwards. We just can't buy anything from black market because of the haunted woods. Oh, he discards. Well, I guess he's got library. Eh. Oh, he can't use the villa now, so it was really great for us that we got the Haunted Woods down last turn. This really hurt his turn here, but I, because I think he has the other library in there. Wait a second, there's mode, right? So if you've got a mode, you're 
you're golden. You can still do all the busted stuff. So time to get a moat and then we empty all the stuff. Alright, so change of plans I guess. Get a moat and try to win. We can get another library here. Or you should get another library, right? Um, is there any merit to. No, there isn't. Should we get the mode now? Maybe we should get it now because it's probably gonna get the haunted woods down. And let's get a black market as well. Yeah, this is like a board where mode is pretty important. Ah, the thing is, you need it in your starting hand. Oh, he did resign, alright. Oh, that's it, I guess. Pretty complicated boards. Yeah, but, but fun stuff. And this last one was too much. Um, thank you everybody. Uh, we, we do win, which is really great. Really, really great for us. Uh, so, we've got two left against Zyrix and Nerdbound. Thank you everybody for watching and listening, and see you there. Goodbye.